from Nova Scotia to Sierra Leone, hundreds of black loyalists. Africans who served as American patriots found freedom restricted and even revoked after the war. As the new nation continued to wrestle with slavery and freedom, African Americans inspired others throughout the Atlantic world to continue the fight for freedom. American Revolution. The Revolutionary War. 1775 war breaks out. They watched with personal interest as mounting tensions between British troops and local seamen exploded onto the streets of Boston in 1770. At the helm was Crispus Abbott, a 47-year-old sailor and fugitive slave. He became the he first casualty. Taping this whole video in it, I'll go back and watch it myself. The beginning of the March toward revolution. By April 1775, Massachusetts militiamen clashed with British troops launching the Revolutionary War. The conflict touched everyone, white, black, enslaved, or free. With much of colonial society built on human bondage, some felt that there was a paradox at the heart of the American Revolution. Abigail Adams, a white patriot, wrote, It always appeared a most iniquitous scheme to me. Fight ourselves for what we are daily robbing and plundering from those who have as good a right to freedom as we have. For Africans, the revolution was a battle for freedom from slavery. As 20% of the population, Africans could tip the scales of war and therefore could not be ignored. The British and colonial armies, though initially reluctant, sought the advantage of recruiting able-bodied enslaved Africans to support their cause. Africans aligned with whichever side offered the better promise of freedom. The British acted first. On behalf of the British government, Lord Dunmore of Virginia proclaimed a promise of freedom to all enslaved Africans who crossed into British lines to serve as loyalist soldiers. Boston King, a black loyalist, recalled, they received me readily and I began to feel the happiness of liberty, of which I knew nothing before. Later, General George Washington, low on manpower, enlisted blacks to fight for the Patriots. Yeah. So they come up with New England Black Patriots. Patriot, Boy Roe Branch, remembered, thus was I a slave for five years fighting for liberty. Whether in segregated or integrated regiments, black soldiers served in pivotal battles. On both sides, they faced danger on the battlefield, including Lexington, Cowpens, Yorktown, and Bunker Hill. Okay, excuse me. Being armed as a slave man and patriot spy, leaked misinformation to the British, risking his life so that America could clinch a victory of Yorktown and secure a British surrender. <coughs> American independence brought liberty for some, but not all. Africans, who have wanted British, fled the 
Across the nation, free African Americans forge tight knit communities and neighborhoods. Facing racism, violence, and economic hardship, free people of color turned in. In cities, small towns, and rural South Carolina, African Americans established autonomous communities, foundations for freedom. After the revolution, the free black population grew exponentially, whether by gradual abolition, escape, limits of freedom, limits of freedom. In 1790, there were almost 60,000 free African Americans. The definition or application of freedom and equality was limited, despite a web of restrictive codes and customs that discriminated against people of African descent. Many were successful in the and to center was the church, which guided all aspects of the new life. It was an incubator for important institutions that strengthened and enriched the community. Wow, look at that. That's huge. Founding of America. All men are created equal with certain Valuable rights. Whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish the declaration. Yeah, whatever, with the 4th of July. Just like slaves are still slaves. 1776. Yeah. Petitioner for freedom. Slaves wasn't free until 1865. Slavery, slavery in Washington, D.C., in Maryland, and Virginia. The nation's capital was an active center of the slave trade. Maryland and Virginia. Paradox of liberty. I'll help to create a new. Still slavery. Independence, 1776. Go figure. Alright, guys, I'm going to go to part three. I'll be back.